In this example, we need to find the domain of the following rational functions. And we're given two rational functions here. Quick review, how do you find the domain of a rational function? The domain of a rational function will be all real numbers except values of x which make the denominator equal to zero. So let's look at our first example. We have f of x equals 2x squared divided by 7 minus x. So what we're going to have to do is find the values of x that make the denominator zero. So we're going to set 7 minus x equal to zero. And if we add x to both sides, we get 7 equals x. So that is the value of x that makes this denominator equal to zero. So for part A, the domain, excuse my bad handwriting, is going to be all real numbers except x equals 7. And if you want to write it in set builder notation, you'd write x such that x does not equal 7. And if you want to write it in interval notation, if you think about the graph on the number line, the only number I don't want is 7. So I want everything in the interval to the left and to the right of 7. So my answer in interval notation, the first interval starts at negative infinity with the parentheses on it, comma 7. Must put parentheses on it because we're excluding 7 from our answer, unioned with the second interval, which is 7 to positive infinity. So those are three different ways of writing the answer. Now let's look at our second example. We need to find the values of x that make the denominator 0. So we're going to take our denominator, x squared plus 3x minus 18, and set it equal to 0, and solve this quadratic equation. As the leading coefficient of the x squared is a 1, this should be fairly easy to factor if it does factor. Multiply to x squared, I definitely need an x and an x. My two numbers multiply to negative 18, therefore I have to have opposite signs in the two parentheses. So they multiply to negative 18 and add to positive 3. I think plus 6 and minus 3 works. So two binomials multiplied together equals zero. Using the zero factor property, we get x plus six equals zero, and x minus three equals zero. From the first one, subtract six from both sides, you get x equals negative six. And from the second one, add three to both sides, you get x equals positive three. So what is my domain in this case? It's going to be all real numbers except, oops, I'm running out of room, x equals negative 6 and 3. Set builder notation, we could write it as x such that x does not equal negative 6 or positive 3. And if I want to do it in interval notation, if you sketch it on the number line, make sure negative 6 is on the left of positive 3. It's going to divide the number line into three separate regions that I want. My first interval would be negative infinity to negative 6, with parentheses on everything, unioned with the middle interval, negative 6 to 3, union with the interval on the right, which is 3 to positive infinity.